Now, in this time of global deadly pandemic, people are finding ways to get things done while minimizing unnecessary physical contact. One main area that's been affected is shopping. And biometric identification makes it so you can buy things just by showing your face. Our Kim Sang-min with this report. To register, just go to your local bank and find a facial recognition kiosk. You stand in front of a huge screen and enter your credit card information. Then, the system maps your facial landmarks and stores them as data. Once registered, you can pay for things at affiliated stores just by showing your face to a screen like this one. As a payment service uses a non-contact biometric identification system, it will allow people to do their basic shopping while avoiding direct contact with other people. Normally, you have to exchange a physical card to pay, but I believe that the growth of non-contact culture because of COVID-19 will accelerate the development of biometric identification in our society. It's not only the financial sector that's adopting the technology. For building security systems, one major company has gone completely non-contact with some of their products using facial recognition to replace fingerprints. Identification is key to non-contact services like online classes and online healthcare services. With Korea moving to get rid of the old system of public certificates for those kinds of services, non-contact biometric identification, which is safer and more convenient, is expected to keep growing amid COVID-19. The Korea Information Security Industry Association forecasts the domestic market for facial recognition systems to grow to around $121 million this year. And because mask wearing has become the new norm since the virus outbreak, the industry is adapting to that too. Some of the newer biometric systems can identify a person even with their mask on, and some are designed to verify only people wearing masks. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.